Does someone not want to get out of bed? So what'd you do today? I had a pretty good day today. Yeah? Got up. I did my usual morning routine. Time to throw the ball for the dog in the rain. Oh, she got it! Good job! She must have her ball thrown for her. It's raining pretty good this morning. Made it safely to work in the rain. Just out doing some errands in the zoo. Uh, in the morning we did, I filled some scripts. I just finished filling scripts in pharmacy, and now I'm going to go see if there's any lab work that has to be done. Always fun times. We have a tomorrow wallaby fecal. Gotta mix it up well. Let's go take a look under the microscope. <laughs> Ever wonder what poop looks like under a microscope? Typically what we're looking for when we're doing uh, fecal examinations, we're doing a direct, um, which is just looking at poop and saline, basically. That, my friends, would be coccidia. At lunchtime, I did a 50-minute workout. Wow. Yeah, it was grueling. After lunch, I did some lab work. Unfortunately, today we got another California condor in with high lead, so I'm testing another condor's blood. And then I did another workout at the end of the day. So you're just getting ready for Italy. Oh yeah, gonna get fit. Serious about this fitness. Gonna get it done. What about you? How was your day? My day was good. I uh, weighed myself. I'm down 0.8 of a pound. Wow. So that's good. Tika didn't want to get out of bed. Mm-mm. No. Mm -mm. Are you ever going to get up? Martin came over. This is Martin. He's new to vlogging. Hey, 2017, you're supposed to be more picture friendly. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. Oh, yeah. I had my typical breakfast of oatmeal, yogurt, and coffee, 307 calories. Then we podcasted. I'm Vince Roca. Did he say venti mocha? And sitting in for special guest Michael Hutchinson is super special guest Marty Bailey. Hello. I Thank usually you. say super special guest Martin Bailey, and on the uh, podcast listing I put Martin, but I always forget that you like Marty. Either way. So, uh, in addition to podcasting, I am vlogging every day now. Oh, There's Lord. My guest over there. And we have an audience member. Look, she got out of bed. <laughs> Yay. Kind of. I think you're a little uh, odd doing that. You just really want to look at yourself, you weirdo. The chi is poking her head out. Oh. All right. So, I'm Vince Roca. Uh, I'm Martin Bailey. And for more on the show, visit getconvinced.com. After podcasting, <clears throat> I made some business calls. Hi. Yeah, this is Vince Roca. On Tuesday, there was a job posted. Seeking one to two editor slash assistant editors for a proof of concept for a digital branded cooking show. For a digital cooking show, that means a cooking show for YouTube. Approximately two to three minutes in length. Prefer LA based, but would consider remote. Prior experience in reality or sizzles is a must. Prior experience in reality television is a must. Well, you've got that. We have all the clips we want already marked, so this shouldn't take more than approximately a couple of hours. Two to three minute sizzle. 
It's basically making a trailer for a television show. Mm -hmm. Okay, a trailer for a movie is not made in two or three hours. We have oral commitments from two brands. So this editor will be considered for the future paid weekly position upon distribution. Please send links of previous work. Must have links of previous work. I, I talked to him today and uh, you know, he gives me the pitch about the cooking show. I totally fit like in this world and all of that. Mm -hmm. And then we get to the point where he says, no compensation. What? Oh my. Now. Are you kidding me? For people at home. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. The first line on my resume says that I have 20 years of editing experience. No compensation. That is on ridiculous. my resume is two years in television Dick development. Dickweed. Dickweed. <laughs> two years in television development. And I've worked on shows, cooking shows like Hell's Kitchen and other reality shows. How the hell do you call me and tell me that there's no compensation, but if the show gets picked up, I'll be hired as an editor? And you claim that you have two brands interested. Well, so that's not even a guarantee that you're going to be no, so hired I have to, on as the editor, because depending on who picks it up, they may have their own people. That's such crap. So I have to cut a sizzle. Hope it gets picked up, then hope I get picked up as the editor on it. If I'm not busy working on something else. No. Like, I totally get if they were calling someone who had no experience and, hey, will you do it for free? Straight out of school, or, first job, no, never worked. Right. But, but experience is a must. So that is, Experience is a must. We're not going to pay you. morons. Now, they tell me that uh, one of the guys who's uh, producing on it has produced uh, several different projects, movies for HBO. And I'm sitting there going, okay, so if these are legit people and they have two brands Something committed, doesn't drive. then put, put your people. money where your mouth is. Yeah. Something like, isn't invest, if you believe in this project, invest in the project and hire me to do it. I was nice to him. I was like, look. Yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> I was like, look, I've, I've worked on sizzles before and I mean, this is something that's going to take a couple of days. Just doing the graphics alone is going to take me a day to, you know, all the lower thirds and flashes and to make it look slick. He goes, oh, it doesn't need to look that way. This is for internal use. We're only going to use it to pitch talent. Well, and I was so like, I used to work in development. You need, I know it needs exactly. to be done. That's what I said to him. I was like, I spent two years in development. It needs to be glossy. It needs to uh -huh. look good. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, look, man, I, it, and he's like, oh, this would just take a few hours, whatever this thing again. And I was like, for me oh to, and I, and I said to him, I'm like, look, I, I do weekly videos for YouTube and now I'm doing daily vlogs and they're taking me like four hours to cut and I'm completely familiar with the material. There's no way your raw material that I don't know anything about is only going to take me two hours to cut. I mean, it's just not going to happen. And and I, I told him that. And I was like, it's going to take me longer than that. And I was like, look, man, for me to be happy with my final product, I'm going to have to spend a couple of days on it. And I just can't work on something that um, that's going to be free for a couple of days. But after I hung up with him, I started thinking. And I'm like, I have 20 years experience. I have the reality, the development experience. Mm -hmm. I have... Tens of thousands of dollars in computer gear. I mean, Boris Continuum Complete Software is like 1500 bucks on its own. It is an absolute insult to call me and ask me to work for free. Mm -hmm. If you were an indie film and you were like, hey, we have no money, can you do us a favor? That's one thing. Mm -hmm. But you're like, we produce for HBO. We have two brands behind this. Work for free and maybe you'll get a job. Are you out of your mind? Yes. I mean, I'm not a whore. I'm more of a prostitute. You have to pay me for what I do. Now, seven hours ago, probably when I got off the phone with him, he updated his post. And it now says, strongly considered for the future weekly position upon distribution but will not be paid for this current edit as it is for internal use. Anyway, after that call, I went back to <laughs> my mundane life and I refilled the soap dispensers in the house.
So after filling the soap dishes, um, I had my usual lunch. Typical lunch of apple, almonds, and coffee. 346 calories. And then I went out back and I took a look at the pool and the uh, LA River out there. Rain is a rarity in Southern California. Behind our house is the beautiful concrete LA River, which is usually bone dry, but right now it's got water flowing in it. Today is a good day to jump in the attic and see if we have any leaks in the roof. The pool is almost overflowing. This is the attic. When we first moved in, I installed these lights so this way I could just flip them on and be able to see around up here with no problem. I'm gonna take a look and see if there's any leaks because there's a flat roof, as you can see here. And we've had leaks in the past, as you can see downstairs. See, this leak here is an old leak and we have yet to patch it and replace the popcorn ceiling in here. And I'll take a look at the air vents, make sure that there's no air leaks in those. All previous leaks appear to be bone dry. As you can see, the design of a flat roof is a problem. There shouldn't be a reflection. There shouldn't be a puddle. What is that, you ask? Well, this preheats the water before it goes through the hot water heater. Usually uses the sun, so the water is warmer and thus less to heat. The plastic is deteriorated. And all day, as I wandered around, room to room, Tika followed me. Really? So I know that she was like, please walk me, please walk me. Um, during the podcast, she slept on the couch, which she never does. So I was like, all right, fine, I'll take you out. I'll take you for a walk. Um, we went for a short walk, but you know, she got two poos in. So oh, two poos. So. Not the usual three, but no. two. This feels like a blatant disregard for rules. Do you want to go for a walk? As you can see, there's been a break in the rain, so I decided to take the dogs for a walk. The ground's a lot drier. Hopefully it doesn't pour on us while we're out. I didn't shoot as much stuff today because like having all that footage to sift through makes editing really long and uh, I have other things that I need to do. So do you think the vlogs are too long or do you think they're too short? I kind of think they're too long. They should just be like two or three minutes. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. If you're a big fan of vloggers, you should check out Adrian Bliss's channel. He does a satirical vlog series called Vlogvember. I'll link it in the description below. It's pretty hilarious. You'll love it. All right, good dog walk, 0.9 miles at a 33.02 pace. Not bad. And then when I got home, I tried uh, you know, doing sit-ups and pull-ups again. <laughs> 29, 30. Maybe tomorrow. Are you done? Who do you love more? Me or mommy? Me! No, no, no. She loves mommy. She loves mommy more. Not me, love mommy. Hey, mommy. Hey, mommy.